and welcome back to mine and Amy's Keto 4 week diet plan and today is the halfway stage of 2 weeks yeah ooh go on yeah we'll put your hands on yeah shake them right around excellent <sighs> I've already weighed myself this morning because lazy Amy over here She's not lazy, she just needs a little bit more sleep because her head's a little bit battered at the moment, so, and it helps and stuff. So, and she made her look crazy, like, I don't know, have you ever seen It and that clown out of it, maybe? I, I'm, I'm just um, spitballing. <laughs> so, I've already weighed myself this morning and I came in at 299.2 pounds. I was like really chuffed with that because last night I felt a bit of weight loss around here. And I thought oh, I was 100% sure that I lost weight, and I did. And I've come in under here. Um, Amy didn't weigh herself yesterday, and we didn't weigh ourselves before then or over there. So, but I'm going to weigh myself again just to make sure. But I have had um, some coffee. I've had nearly two cups of coffee and a bit of seven up with salt in it this morning. So, just um, see what happens to my weight anyway. Just one of those. Oh bloody hell, I've gone up to 301.6 That is unbelievable that is I've put weight on with the liquid That's just crazy talk that is Yeah, so I'm going to take my weight measurements of this morning But it's, that's basically saying my, li my liquid what I've intake has pushed me past my weight from yesterday It doesn't make any sense to me that done but Let's do you, Amy. Let's see what you've done. 222.6, two, two off and on. Off and on. 222.6. Two, two, oh, good news for you, Amy. 222.6. Mm. Two, two, two pounds. So there we go, Amy's lost. 2.2 two pounds since day 11 and i've lost even though i put even though i'm saying i put weight on but i'm going to go with my warning weight also amy has only had a, a sip of um sugar-free rim toe so um yeah that's how much we've lost so for me today uh 22 well i'll do that after but we're doing quite well um i'm under 300 pounds even though the scale just lied to me I want to have a look, another look at that scale, see what it says. Dodgy do as dodgy does, you know. So I'm saying so, yeah, if you're going to weigh yourself, just weigh yourself in the morning before you've had a lot of drink and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so let's talk about it in a moment. Oh, wait a minute, I've just, I have just remembered. By the way, I've been getting this. I mean, it costs like between two and four quid, like. Oh, by the way, I'm not a sponsor of this because I use the app to get it for a pound. But it's like, it's really good because look at the carb content. You can have up to 20 carbs a day on the keto. And this only has 15 carbs in the whole thing. Yeah, it's a little bit high on sugars, but you're getting all your vitamin A, E, K, C, calcium, stuff like that. It's vegan, free, that, you know, so it's all no art. No additives, no added sugar, and it's absolutely perfect, you know, if you just can't be asked eating veg or preparing and cooking veg. Amy hasn't been having that, I've had that. I've got, I used to, I think it was the Green Gin app, and you got a pound off each one, and I bought three, so I got three pound back, and they only paid three quid. But like I said, online, it's really like four quid for that from the actual shop. So that's a bit mad. So let's uh, go back in the room and we'll talk about what's been happening. I'll be back in the room and, you know, I've just looked at the calculations for this um, week. And I've lost five pounds. But for some reason, if I drink, uh, these are the coffees I've been drinking. It's black coffee. Yeah, some more got black coffee. So I've had, this is. I think this is on my second one, to be honest with you. I don't think it, Yeah, this is my second one. So, I've had a full one of them and a little bit of that. And a little bit of 7-Up. I put my 7-Up in there with um, a bit of salt. 
and I've managed to put on past my weight from yesterday, which is a bit weird. That shouldn't have really happened, but it has. Um, but I'm going to go with my morning weight, or my weight before I have everything. So it turns out I've lost five pounds. Even if it's um, the scale thing, I probably would have lost like four pounds if I weighed myself now. But it's all right. So last week, the first week, I lost 5.4 pounds. This week, I've lost five pounds. Amy lost 4.4 pounds last week. And again, she's lost four pounds, four pounds this week. So Amy's lost 8.8 .8 pounds altogether, which is really good. And I've lost 10.4 pounds. Based on this keto malarkey, because I, when I was looking at this, because I was when I was here, I was like, I was like over here, you know, I was like, what is it, one, two, three, four days, and nearly breaking even, and it's like, what's going on? And then again here, I've got a couple. I don't know what it was like here. I might have been breaking even again round there, but it seems to be very slow at losing weight, even though. 5.4 pounds in a week and five pounds in a week or 4.4 pounds in a week is actually really good uh, It's like Amy's over here. She was kind of Breaking even all the way around but she was going down and down then boom it that little weight loss there and then boom hit another weight loss so You know if you weigh yourself every day on this keto or mad diet You're gonna find yourself not really moving as much but then every so often, you know, there's a little couple of pounds fall. And I, and I would have expected me and him to lose a lot more weight at the moment because we've been doing a shed ton of walking. We've been doing a minimum of three mile a day. We've done, I think we did nine mile. No, yeah, nine mile the other day. We did 4.7 mile yesterday. And it's like the 4.7 mile was a walk there, walk to the shops. Got all the shopping, what it back with shopping. I had bottles of pop in my rucksack, it was quite heavy. So I'm surprised we haven't lost a lot more weight than I would have thought. But then when I look back on when I used to fast, like I used to fast from Monday to Thursday and then eat at the weekend, I was like, compared to this, eating every day, I'm actually losing probably the same amount every week, which is a bit mad. Um, Oh, that's what it looks like to me. So if we carry on this trajectory for the next two weeks, we could be losing over a stone or a stone and a half between. Uh, like, yeah, about three stone between us. So, also, the meals, like I said, we've been eating all mad. Um, yesterday, we had steak. Um, I had one of those soups because it just had uh, a bit of guacamole. One of the other soups is 23 carbs, though, so... Um, you'd have to, you can still have it like, but most of them are like 15, 16 carbs. And I had one yesterday, it was a tomato and basil with passion flower, really nice. I think it was 16 carbs, really lovely. I had half a sort of a guacamole as well because I don't like avocado, but I tried some avocado dip, that's what it is basically, and it was bloody lovely. A little bit high on the sugar, but if you only have half a tub, then you're pretty much well okay. I think it was like two grams of sugar in that. So I was getting close to my 20 carbs yesterday. And then that's all I had with steak and some pork mince. Because I had to get rid of pork mince. And I've been cutting um, joints of beef up and turning that into steak. So I'm getting some actually good, decent steak instead of getting ripped off by a single steak. It's like 10 quid just for a single steak. And it's like, what's going on here? Or... Two for a tenner, and when I when I cut one up myself from a roast joint, it's like it's miles better, and you get more, so you may as well do that. Um, Amy, uh, her mental um, madness did start to slowly change a bit, but it's actually come back for the last since the weekend. Even though we got it weekend, it was a little bit better. It was changing in her mind, her anxieties and stuff like that, but. Since then, it's like she's gone backwards again, so that's a bit, um, it's not good, but hopefully we can get back into getting a mental. Myself, I am less stressful, but I can't actually prove that I'm less stressful. I just feel less stressful, I feel more relaxed, 
I feel like I've got more energy, so when I'm walking everywhere now, so when I went for a walk yesterday, it was every, it's up until yesterday, I'm, I was like buggered, you know, walking, it was like really bad, and then yesterday kicks in, I think I've started properly into keto now, into bath, fat burning, and it's just giving me loads of energy to walk yesterday and carry things and like that, so that's alright. Um, my toilet habits, I'm not blowing a gasket no more. However, I did have some sugar-free sweets, a full pack of Frutella ones about two days ago, in which I had um, backwards farts, and then I ended up going to the toilet, and, then, and it was just exploding. So I've limited that now to half a pack, if I wanted to have a half a pack, because I seem to be quite all right to have half a pack. Um, plus, I think it's 100 calories in half a pack as well, which is a bit annoying. Um... And so we got a load of meals. I'm not sure how to uh, see if I add the meals to this. It's going to change the video output, but we'll see what it does. Um, and um, yeah, I think we're going pretty all right. It's been a bit hard for Amy to do this diet, but um, like I said, we're doing it for her mental health, and I'm doing this to lose weight. And even though I've lost like 10.4 pounds or 10, 9, 10 pounds, you know, it just feels not quick enough even though it's like it's about a pound a day apart from weekends so you know I, i'm actually happy with losing that much weight and everything but i'd rather lose more because if you do go on to a cheat you know you're going to go blow back up within a day or two and it's like oh just the last time i had work where if you fasted for a few weeks then it would be a lot easier to do i'm sure i can lose a lot more weight fasting Maybe a couple of pounds a week more. I think I can lose ten pounds in a week, but I'm just like putting four or five pounds on over the weekend. So I'm not sure if it was averaging out or not. But however, I do know this: two weeks on the keto, and my oh my brain's better. I'm less um crazy. I'm, um, um, I can think of things more. My memory's getting better. It's not perfect, you know. It's gonna take a while for my. I get rid of this red stuff in the winter. Um, I've been getting a little bit of it. I'm not a hundred percent sure if it's anything at all, but it could be the cold. But sometimes it's warm, and then I get it. Sometimes I eat food, then I get it. Um, I've only had it like a like a pulsating thing there once, or no, twice at random. And I think because I was vaping outside and coming into the warm heat, and then the other time it just happened for no reason at all. Uh, my feet have been getting better. Um, I did start getting feet pain from walking because I've been doing a lot of walking because when I eat carbohydrates and that, it makes me go to the toilet. And because of that, I have to go to like three or four times a day. It doesn't matter what type, whether it's sugar, whether it's potatoes and stuff like that. But there's too much carbs, it just destroys my gut. So I can't go around walking because I can't trust myself to walk around anywhere. But now that I'm on this diet, I can go walking all over the place and um so my shit box is working properly again um and yeah that's about it really uh, my shit box is working my memory's good my stress levels are all right amy was changing with the way she thinks about her anxiety but then kind of gone backwards again hopefully in the next two weeks we can push through it and see what happens but i will see you all in the next video wait is it wednesday today thursday thursday bloody hell so I'll see you all on um Monday, maybe, is it? So, one, two, yeah, Monday, Tuesday, something like that. So, everybody have a good weekend, and we'll see you in the next video. What we Amy? Crazy Amy. <laughs>